hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing how to create the readme file using an app called markdown monster so after downloading the app i'm going to send it in the link below you see the page like this so you first of all go to file then you have to save it so you now save it in the folder you want to save it so i created a folder called alx and i'll change the name to readme so i'm going to type readme so now i'm going to now click save so it will now be saved so now here now on my job i'm going to use the first hash so the first hash is for the big header that is uh, h1 header so this is a project on how to set up your git and github account so by my by my by my left is what i'm typing by my right is the output so account then i'm going to use the three hash which is for the third header then i'm going to i'm going to type this include creating a file creating a file directory on computer named elx precourse and then moving it to your github account repository named elx precourse.git so this include creating a file directory on your computer named elx precourse and then moving it and then moving it to your github account repository named to your github account repository named elx precourse.git elx precourse.git so now by my left i have what i've typed by my right this is my output so you can type any two of your choice depending on what you want people to understand from your readme so ls precourse.git so this is my readme file so um you can also go to the um you go to the help the help um tab and then documentation um so when you click on that documentation you see the lots of uh, functions in which you can do you can create both text header one header two based on the code you can link text you can put images you can put a lot of things there are a lot of document uh, documentation here so you can use to create your readme file so it's a very good app so i'll be linking the link on my description in how to on how to get the app and then use it for your project and other things so um this is the app you can also create uh, inline code indented code um a lot of code so you can yes you can create a table column table so that is it all about thank you